You must quit watching motivational videos. Stop watching David Goggins. Stop watching Andrew Tate or any other motivational thing that pumps you up and hypes you up to go to work, to go to the gym, or literally do anything productive. Now, you may feel a lot more productive and ready to work for hours after consuming motivational content. However, you'll soon realize that you lose all the motivation as soon as you start working and the second it gets hard. Motivation might cause you to start doing something, but it runs out extremely quickly and you will not be able to achieve as much as if you just relied on another productivity habit that will literally 10x your work rate. Keep watching to learn all about that habit. But if motivational videos and speeches won't help you, won't help me, then what will? There's one tactic and that is momentum. You get momentum when after a while of you doing the right things and stopping instant gratification and you finally see that you're making progress towards your goals. Now this could be receiving your first 50 subscribers on your YouTube channel. Your business makes its first hundred dollars. Um, makes its first hundred pounds or you finally start to see some muscles growing when you see that hard work that you're putting towards achieving your goals is working and that you're actually finally making progress even if it's only a tiny bit you will become addicted to it the problem with motivation and all these motivational content is that it's short-lived it will run out very quickly and relying purely on motivation will lead to you remaining a loser. Watching a reject majority embrace masculinity video might get you to head to the gym and watching Andrew Tate talk about making money might persuade you to start working on a business. But what is gonna keep you consistently working towards achieving your goals when it finally gets difficult or when you face a setback? Relying purely on motivation alone is gonna result in you quitting. However, if you use momentum as the main force, you will literally become addicted to it. You won't need to worry as much about staying consistent or being disciplined, as humans are addicted to progress. We, you and me, are addicted to progress. It is a goal that you desperately want to achieve. No difficulty, no setback is gonna stop you from working as hard as you possibly can to achieve that dream. Now here is an actionable step that anyone can do right now. Momentum is key, but it's useless if you don't track it and you see and you don't know your starting point, as you have no idea how much progress you have or you haven't made. Right now, if you don't have a list of goals that you want to achieve, including short-term, medium-term, or long-term goals, written either on your phone or on a piece of paper or anywhere, do yourself a favor and write it out right now. Writing your goals out is the easiest way to get closer to achieving them. Now this isn't even, this isn't even bro science or anything. This is scientifically proven. Between 1979 and 1989 at Harvard, they found out that only 3% of graduates have their goals written down. 10 years later, they went in and found out how the 3% that had their goals written down were doing. They were making 10 times more than the other 97% of people who didn't write down their goals. 10 times more. Can you imagine what the, can you imagine what a Harvard graduate makes on average and then 10 exit? That is ridiculous for doing something as basic as writing down your goals on paper. The 13% of graduates who had goals but didn't write them down were making double the money as the other 87% of students who had no goals at all. If you're watching this video and you have goals, dreams, ambitions that you want to achieve, write down your goals on paper and stick them up where you can see it every day. It will be the fastest, easiest and lowest investment of time, money or anything to 10x your income versus people who refuse to use your momentum. Now, this doesn't mean that you can never watch a motivational speech, motivational edit, or a video again. No, of course you can. However, just don't rely on them. Use them like pre-workout. Use them rarely when you really don't feel motivated at all to do it. 
when you feel like garbage, when you need it. However, also use your discipline, your willpower and your momentum to encourage you to just keep going, keep going after it. I hope you found a lot of value in this video and enjoyed it. This entire channel is based solely on self-improvement, so subscribe to learn everything about self-improvement that I know and that I learn over the next few years. If you have any questions or thoughts, leave a comment and I'll reply to it shortly. Thanks for watching and make sure that you write your goals down right away. If you already have a list of goals, amazing for you. You're on the track to 10x your income. Ridiculous. Even saying it is absolutely mind-blowing. Right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.